So hello everyone and thank you for joining the Blackboard Integrity Partner Webinar this afternoon titled Streamlined and Scalable Implementation of Lecture Capture Within the Blackboard Learn Platform. My name is Megan Holmes and I am a Partner Manager on the Business Development Team here at Blackboard. Today I'm going to be running the webinar behind the scenes and before I do some formal introductions, I want to run through a few housekeeping items. So for all of your technical related questions that you have during the webinar, things like your sound might not be working or you can't see the desktop once that's shared, um, please ask those questions in the chat box that you see on the upper right hand side. If you have questions about the material being presented during the webinar, please submit those questions in the Q&A box. Throughout the webinar, we'll be monitoring the questions, um, and we plan to leave a few minutes at the end to answer some of the questions that come through during the webinar. So again, welcome, and thank you for attending this afternoon's presentation. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing Mike Berger, who is the Senior Director of Marketing at Tegrity. And we also have on the line today the Director of eLearning at Shoreline Community College, Anne Garncy Harder. During today's webinar, you'll learn how Tegrity's integration works within Blackboard Learn and how um, effective implementation strategies are being used at SCC. And I believe Anne will even be sharing some lessons learned. So with that, I'd like to hand it over to Anne to take care of her part of the presentation. Great, thank you. Uh, this is Anne. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, so today's session, or my part of the session, is a case study uh, showcasing my college, Shoreline Community College, and how we implement integrity within the Blackboard Learning Management System. Uh, what I hope that you gain from this session today is you'll see how easy that was and how easy it was to scale up integrity usage in just one year. Um, we've just been using it for a year, and um, we've had a large impact on student learning in that year. So a little bit of background, uh, Shoreline Community College is part of Washington State State's Community and Technical College System, and that's overseen by the Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, or the SBCTC. Um, Shoreline is located just north of Seattle, I put a little star there for you. Um, so as part of a system-wide RFP or Request for Proposals process in 2010, Washington State's Community and Technical Colleges select Integrity as its lecture capture system um, for its more than 500,000 students across the 34 different colleges. So the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges purchased a single installation of Integrity, and we, like all of the colleges, have free unlimited usage on that lecture capture system, which is really, really nice. Um, the installation is hosted by Integrity and each college manages its own branded Tegrity site. So you can see ours um, is here. This is our branded Tegrity site. So one of the reasons Tegrity was chosen is that the 34 college system could implement a cloud-based version of lecture capture. Um, what's nice is that for our college is that Tegrity hosts the software. So our, our college doesn't have to worry about that. Um, we also don't have to worry about um, putting hardware into our classrooms on campus. Since it's cloud-based, it doesn't require any special uh, classroom-based appliances or hardware. And um, the Tegrity software installs automatically as soon as you try and use it, which is nice. And I'm going to show you some screenshots of that shortly. So Shoreline Community College was one of the first institutions within Washington State's community college system to deploy Tegrity uh, college-wide, again, using that state license or that state installation. Um, it, you can see from this chart, which um, shows the colleges that, that, we're using, that are using Tegrity, we're the second heaviest user of Tegrity. Um, the statistics compare usage across the state and um, again, it was deployed last year, so it, it's, it's from the beginning of the deployment. Um, SEC is second only to a college that had Tegrity for many years um, with their own license, and so they had you know, a big head start on us in terms of knowing the technology 
Um, so they have a lot more recordings, but it's interesting to see Shoreline has almost the amount of same um, viewings in the year that we had it. <clears throat> so you can see for us it was, it was pretty easy to scale up um, within one year's time, um, and we were able to do that more than any other college. And so um, let's talk a little bit about what we did. We did just a few simple things. Um, first, we were able to uh, implement Tegrity college-wide fairly easily um, and quickly because we integrated it with our LMS, our learning management system, which is Blackboard. <coughs> so this streamlined access to Tegrity for our users. We also made Tegrity, um, the recording software, available on computers um, on our campus, and it's very easy to download on your home computer. We also made microphones and webcams, some webcams, not a ton, um, available. And finally, we connected our faculty and staff to training on how to use Tegrity. And I'll talk about each one of those. So first, we integrated Tegrity within our Blackboard Learn platform uh, before we rolled it out to the campus. And we did that last summer, summer 2010. And so our users have been using Tegrity for the last four quarters. So integration with, with Blackboard was really easy. It was done in just a few minutes. Um, and uh, Tegrity, uh, Mike is going to demo that process here after I'm done speaking. And he, he's going to illustrate how easy it is. <laughs> so this helped us because it kept staffing demands um, fairly low in terms of administering uh, Tegrity. In doing the integration, uh, Tegrity's uh, classes button is generated automatically in all of our Blackboard classrooms. And this is where students go in Blackboard to retrieve the Tegrity recordings, and it's also where faculty go to make their recordings. So here's the next interface faculty get to in Blackboard. Here, instructors can uh, use Tegrity to easily record their classes just by clicking on the Record a Class button at the top of the screen, and then they can share their recordings with students online via Blackboard. Uh, Tegrity allows faculty to record what's on their computer screen, and they can integrate audio and video if they'd like. So about 80% of all of our college classes uh, use Blackboard in either online, what we call hybrid courses, or the rest, the face-to-face -face classes. So getting Tegrity integrated into the Blackboard classroom like this, um, that was our best strategy for getting faculty to use it it really lowered the threshold for faculty to get started with Tegrity to basically just two clicks. Other colleges in our system were more conservative and piloted Tegrity with just a handful of faculty first, and that's an alternative way to go. Um, we didn't do this, I think, because integration with Blackboard was so easy and you know, to get it into every single Blackboard classroom. And Tegrity was fairly easy and intuitive to use. Um, we didn't feel like it took much faculty training to do just the basics of Tegrity. We did have to train faculty um, for those who weren't using Tegrity and on how to hide the Tegrity classes button in their Blackboard classroom. And that seemed to work just fine. If, if they forgot to do this, students might just click on that button and not see any content there. So you know, in summary, essentially our strategy in opening up Tegrity to all Blackboard faculty was to let motivated faculty start using Tegrity sort of at their own risk while um, our department who supported Tegrity learned how to support it and um, learned about Tegrity as we went. And that approach actually worked pretty well. So moving on to our second strategy of making the Tegrity recorder available to users so that they could uh, record using Tegrity. And this was fairly easy because it downloads automatically the first time a faculty member goes to make a recording um, in their Blackboard classroom. They click on um, the download recorder button there. And the only part that wasn't easy was um, if they were um, on a college-owned computer. So none of our faculty have administrative privileges to their office computers. Um, if they did, they would be able to just click on that download recorder button and have the software download. Um, so we had to work with our uh, IT folks to get Tegrity downloaded onto all of the faculty computers on campus. And so that took a little bit of time. 
And then we also needed to work with our ID, IT department to get Tegrity loaded onto all student computers on campus um, in case their teacher asked them to create videos or podcasts using Tegrity or to take proctored tests using Tegrity. The next step was to get microphones into the hands of folks so that they could reco record audio integrity. And um, all of our faculty already had headsets with built-in microphones um, from our use of a web conferencing system that um, was formerly called Illuminate, and now Blackboard owns it, and it's called Blackboard Collaborate. So we had a lot of Illuminate branded headsets, and we got them very cheaply from Illuminate. And, um, so we purchased one for every faculty member and for most staff. So we had those on hand. What we did to make those more usable was we added a USB adapter onto them. And we purchased those very cheaply through Overstock.com. I think we got them for a dollar or something. I found this um, one last night for uh, $2.49. And they make the headsets um, so you can plug them into your computer directly um, to the USB port. Otherwise, uh, without the, this adapter, we found that folks had to change the settings on their computer to recognize the headsets. And that was a little complicated for folks. So just this little device um, increased the usability of the headsets by a lot. We also made these headsets available for checkout for students. Um, or faculty in the library, and our bookstore also carries them, so if you want to purchase them, you can go there. We also created a tutorial on how to select the headset as your audio source integrity, and we did do some training on that. Since webcams are optional with Tegrity, uh, we didn't emphasize having a video image of yourself while you were lecturing. Um, but we did have some, and we do have some webcams available for checkout in the library and for purchase in the bookstore. And many of our faculty have used their own professional development dollars to purchase a webcam if they're um, using it a lot with Tegrity. So most faculty uh, started off by recording lectures for their online classes. And again, they used the, the headsets that they had and they were working either in their office or their home computers, and they would record what was on their computer screen. And they, they really wouldn't be using webcams to include live a video of their, of their face um, speaking. So this, for example, is a Geology 101 course, and the instructor um, just put a still picture um, of the type of rock that she's discussing in the upper left corner instead of the live video from a webcam feed of her face. And alternatively, she puts a still photo of herself on the PowerPoint um, presentation slide on her first slide so students can see who she is. <clears throat> For faculty who wanted to, to use Tegrity to record live face-to-face uh, -face classes, that was difficult for our college because um, none of our smart classrooms, what we call smart classrooms, uh, classrooms with media in them, um, none of the smart classrooms had microphones or, or webcams available. And luckily, we were in the planning stages last year for uh, 30 new smart classrooms. So we included uh, microphones and webcams in the design. And we just installed those this summer, so they're now ready for faculty to use this fall quarter. And so I expect that um, type of usage of Tegrity in live face-to-face -face classes to increase a lot. Uh, this year, we had very little of that um, so far. Well, this is a picture from one of the rooms, and we have an array microphone mounted on the podium, um, so that picks up the instructor's voice. And uh, I just did a search for that. You can get them for around $200. Uh, Acoustic Magic is what we're using. And then, in terms of the uh, webcam, we got this Logitech. Um, webcam for about $90, and um, it's nice in that this is a, another picture um, of another room. Um, the webcam also is Velcro to the podium, and it points at the teacher. It does have face tracking, so it can track if the, the teacher um, walks around. The teacher could uh, pan the, the camera around to see students or just unvelcro it and physically point it towards the class if she or he wants. 
So as part of our implementation, uh, we also promoted training sessions. And we primarily had um, the Tegrity run training sessions. And those were provided as part of our statewide contract with Tegrity. They did um, face to face as well as online training. And it, they were on the basics as well as more advanced features of Tegrity. Um, also, our staff, um, at the, the college staff who supports Tegrity, each of us took um, a day long training um, that Tegrity provided. We also offered um, lots of one-on-one uh, -on -one training for faculty or one-on-one -on -one support, um, but we, I don't think we did any group training or any training of students. Um, we, again, we found that Tegrity was, was pretty easy to use. Um, it was just a matter of getting it installed onto your computer, and so there wasn't much training that needed to happen for the basic uh, Tegrity user. We did promote video tutorials uh, that were created at our college and by colleagues at um, our state colleges, like the, the ones that you see here on this YouTube channel. And this is one of the, the nice benefits of being part of a statewide um, implementation of Tegrity. Um, we get to share training materials and tutorials like this. So these simple uh, but focused efforts produced immediate results um, with Shoreline Community College already creating over 3,000 Tegrity recordings in just one year of use. And I'm actually surprised at how large the usage has been given the amount of effort and support that my department has had to put in, which has been fairly minimal. Um, I think it speaks volumes to how easy Tegrity is to use, and it also shows how scalable Tegrity can be, um, especially if it's integrated into your learning management system, like what we did with Blackboard. So our, our future plans for leveraging Tegrity um, on campus, we plan on advertising Tegrity more. Um, we really didn't do advertising last year. Um, so we have some posters and brochures that we got from Tegrity. We're going to put those up around campus. We're hoping that that sparks um, some of our face-to-face -face students to um, ask their instructors about the tool and how they can use it. Um, again, right now, Integrity is being used quite a lot in online classes. Um, so we want to increase student usage. Uh, right now, students are using Integrity to record while they're taking proctored tests. Um, I think that's the, the sole use of Integrity um, by students. So they record what they are doing on their screens um, while they take online tests. And um, some faculty combine Tegrity with Respondus Lockdown Browser for that. And that's the only time that um, students are using Tegrity to record what they're doing. Uh, I expect that type of use to increase. Um, but we also hope that students can use Tegrity for a variety of assignments, like um, recording themselves for a communications class or a language class, for example. We'd like that type of usage to increase this year. We need to provide more training on more advanced features of Tegrity, and we need to communicate with our faculty on how to copy Tegrity recordings from one Blackboard classroom for one quarter to a future quarter. We, we, we need to do better training on that. And finally, um, we've heard anecdotal evidence from faculty and students that Tegrity has improved student learning. and. Um, teachers call it a critical tool for teaching, um, but we need to analyze the data to see how lecture capture affects learning outcomes and how it impacts retention and um, how it affects our enrollment. So this is, is me if you have questions, and I think um, we're going to hold questions till the end. 